Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use environment variables in the serverless framework. Now you can define these variables in the serverless.yaml config file and then you can use them inside all of your functions. It's very useful for storing things like database connection settings or API keys. Now if you use environment variables you get two benefits. First of all, they are stored centrally in the serverless.config file and secondly, they can be updated without changing the source code of your functions. So let's check out how we can use these variables. I'm going to open up the serverless.yaml file here. And there are two places where you can define these variables. The first place is in the provider section. And all you have to do to add these variables is to add environment to your config file. And then you can define any key that you want. So you can say that my Google Maps API key equals key one, two, three, four, for example. And you can add another key with another value, just like that. But we're just gonna keep it at the Google Maps API key for this example. Now, all the variables that are defined in this provider section are available to all of the functions inside this project. Now, the second place where you can define environment variables is in the config part of each function. So let's scroll down to functions. And before I'm going to add them to our hello function, I'm just going to create a new function just for this video. So I'm going to copy the config of our hello function. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this env variables. And variables, I'm going to change the file name, I'm going to make this handler. And we're going to say that this will receive a get event at env variables as a path. All right, so all I have to do to add an environment variable to this is basically the exact same I add environment here. And then I can define any environment variable that I want. So let's say this function needs a specific API key, then I can say other API key equals key five, six, seven, eight, nine, for example. So this environment variable is only available to my nth variables function and not to the hello function. So let's now take a look at how you can use these variables inside of your function. So I'm going to use this inside my nth variable function, but I first need to create the nth variables files and I need to export a handler function from it. So I'm going to open up the code for a hello function and I'm just going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to rename the file to nth and variables, there you go. And I'm going to export a handler function, you can name this anything that you want, by the way, just it should match up with what you defined here in your config file. And I'm going to delete all of this code. And I'm just going to leave the default response in there. And now I'm going to change the function so that it returns the value of the environment variable. So instead of returning message and input, I'm just going to return variable, for example, and I'm going to say the value of the variable is plus, and then I want to return the value of one of our environment variables. And the way to do this is to type process.env. And this env variable is an object that contains all of your environment variables. So if I go back to serverless, this object will contain, for example, other API key, and it will also contain Google Maps API key. So if I paste that in there, process.env.other API key, it will actually fetch the value of this API key. So that's basically it. Let's now deploy our application. Let's do SLS deploy. And let's see if it really works. All right, there we go. The deploy has finished. Let's now open up this endpoint that has created for my end variables function, I'm going to open that up in Chrome. And just as expected, it returns the object that we define in our code, it says variable equals the value of this variable is key 56789. So that was it for this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.